Um, keeps um, going on. Ah, hello, happy Tuesday. Can you see me yet? Okay, I see me. I see you live in my group. Hello, everyone. I am going to give y'all a moment to join and explain why you're seeing my face on Misty's profile. <clears throat> we are just a little bit early, but we would like to... Oh, crap. I can't tag people. <laughs> so that plan doesn't work. Uh, I can do it from the comments here. But never mind, that's in the wrong group. Um, okay, hi, hi everyone. I see you all joining. It's so good to be here and see you. So yes, surprise, it is me on <laughs> in front of you right now. We are using Missy's profile. Um, and yeah, so surprise. But we will both be delivering this workshop to you over the next two days. So we're just gonna tag some people who are super excited about this to make sure everyone gets a chance to come in here with us. So hang tight with us for just a moment, okay? And hello, um, so we're using StreamYard, so I can't see your name. So if you are here, please tell me your name so I can send you some love. And today we have Misty in the comments, not yet. <laughs> She's also here. We have Misty in the comments helping out. And we also have Deanna in the comments. We are streaming in two groups today. We're streaming in our Growth Without Sacrifice group and also our um, Get Clients Online group. So if you are present in either one of these, say hello, okay? And we are just about to get started. Hi, Lavinia. Hi, Kathy. Oh, Kathy, I'm so happy that you're here. We haven't had a chance to officially meet yet. Okay, so what do you think? Shall we get started? Okay, so everyone, hello. We are here. Welcome to our very first automation workshop of 2022. We hold a lot of these, but this is our first one here in this new year. And it is hosted by yours truly, the Biz Solution Sisters. Um, so again, I would love to know who was here with me. Tell me your name below and tell me where you're writing from. Like, where in the world are you right now? I know we have people from everywhere. So tell us where you are. Misty and I are in Thailand on a beautiful, beautiful island. And uh, yeah, it's always really cool to see what different time zones we're working with. So we had well over 100, was it? Like 130, 140 signups for this very special workshop so it's so nice to see the interest growing in automation because it truly is amazing so just to give you a quick overview day one will be hosted by me taylor for those of you who don't know me and i know there's a ton of new people in our growth without sacrifice group so i am the other half of this solution sisters and my name is taylor and i will be bringing you day one which is happening right freaking now okay and day two will be hosted by the other half of this solution sisters which is misty and i think <laughs> i think many of you know her especially well in all the groups <clears throat> um so she is going to bring you an amazing day two and we are just so excited. We want to just quickly tell you why we started this business. And that is because Misty and I both had separate businesses, marketing businesses, where we were spending hours upon hours upon hours, <laughs> maybe some more hours, generating leads. We were always looking for our next client, okay? And so by the end of the day, we just didn't have the brain space to create really powerful content or really show up for our clients or really show up for ourselves, which is massively important whenever you're a business owner. So we began to explore other solutions and that's whenever we found automation and fell in love with it and realized it doesn't have to be so hard. And now we've teamed up. We have one business now, the Biz Solution Sisters, which is what I told you about. And we are on a mission to educate as many 
online business owners as possible about how amazing automation is and how you can simplify your business and then your life as a result. So really great to have you here. And uh, yeah, um, before we begin, let me ask you a couple of questions, okay? Number one, for those of you who are here, and even if you're watching the replay, please um, let me know in the comments, answer these questions for me. It gives us a really good idea of where you're at and who is here with us. So my first question is, how long have you been in business? How long have you been in business? Let us know below. My second question is, what are you struggling with most right now in your business? What is keeping your business from where you know it can be, where you really want it to be? And then, how are we doing? I'll, I'll slow down and give people a chance to answer. Okay, we had two years. Whoa, one month, one month. Oh, some, some really new people. Hi, Deanna. And hi, everyone else here. I can't see everyone's names. Okay, getting more leads and closing sales. I hear that all the time. Leads, number one problem. Yes, that is definitely what we hear. Okay, so I'm going to let those, I'm going to let those comments keep rolling in, okay? My third question is, are you currently using any automation in your business right now? Any automation at all? That can be ClickFunnels, it can be Zapier. If you're a client of ours, we know you are using our automation. Fantastic idea, if I do say so myself. So let, let us know in the comments where you're at with automation, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And then Missy, will you just confirm that you can see this? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it should be. Okay, yeah. Okay, everyone can see my screen, yeah? Yes, give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen. Are you still behind over there? Okay, wait, I can see. I can see in the other group. Okay. Yes, Tay. Okay, awesome. So let's get started. Um, so our workshop is cashing in with Facebook aut automation and for 2022 and beyond. Okay, we are not just talking about this year. We are teaching you things that you can use forever, evergreen systems for your business, but more on that as we go. So as I mentioned, day one, we brought to you by me, we are gonna discuss automated client attraction. Okay, so I'm not gonna like dive into each of these bullets because we will do that on the slides. This is a, a general overview of what we are going to go through. So it's going to be a lot of lead gen. We're going to take a look at three of our most three of our most popular Facebook automation tools and the ones that you use every single day in workflow. Speaking of workflow, we're going to talk about workflow and having a strategy that you can use every single day. We're going to talk, we're going to do a bit of comparison with Facebook ads and organic lead gen and just a lot of other really great things. So you want to stick around. Uh, and also we have a couple of giveaways that we're doing. So if you want to win some amazing automation tools as well, I highly recommend you stick around and engage. I'm not going to give away how you win, but it's important that you engage. <laughs> okay. All right. So who is ready? Can, can y'all drop me some love below if you are ready to learn about automation? And I'm going to patiently wait for those beautiful love comments to roll in. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Lorraine. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. I am seeing multiple. Oh, Brian is here. Hi, Brian. Ellen. Oh my goodness. So good to see you. I'm so happy to see all of these people that I talked to before this workshop. Awesome stuff. Okay. Let's do the things. So everyone, before we begin, this is a workshop where we will look at automation. Okay. So this might be very new for some of you. So I just want y'all to just relax, have an open mind, and don't be afraid to ask questions. As I said, Misty is in the comments. 
Deanna is in the comments and I am here and we are all experts on all of this. So no question is stupid and or silly and just ask away. Okay. And if we don't get to it right here in the workshop, just we'll get to you after in the DMs or something. All right. Okay. So there are many misconceptions about automation that I would like to address from the get-go. Let's just lay, let's just put these to rest right now. So the first one is it is difficult. I promise you it is not. And Missy and I are famous for, for telling the story about me being a tech granny. I normally, if anyone in my life knows that I just don't, I just don't, that's all I'm going to say about it. And I, I like run away from it. And I found automation and I was able, I'll go, I'll tell you more about this in a moment, but I was able to pull a 3k client within seven days of using automation. So if I can figure it out, who's known as tech granny, you can definitely figure it out too. You just have to learn it. You have to put the time into it. The, the, the week of learning curve it takes to learn it. And then it, that's it. Okay. Um, it is not difficult. It is really, really simple and it is really rewarding what comes from it. Okay. Um, another thing is people hear the word automation and they go, Oh, it must be expensive. And that's just also not the case. Okay. It is not expensive. It's incredibly affordable. It requires a team it does not require a team to run automation. You can have a team and that's great. Or you can be a solopreneur like many of our clients are. Okay. It does not require a team. You'll never understand it. That's not true. That's a limiting belief and you will understand it. You just have to try to understand it. And like I said, it goes back to the tech granny. If I can understand it and I understand it really well, then you can understand it. Another big one we hear about automation is I'll show up like a robot. No, you won't. <laughs> I feel like I could do a whole live just on this. Our automation tools are fully customizable. You're not showing up like a robot and you're not doing sleazy sales, spammy DMs or sales tactics. It's, it's not like that. So hang with us through this workshop and you'll see how. Um, Facebook will block me. No, actually you have a way higher chance of getting blocked on Facebook if you're not using automation tools. And you'll also see why in the workshop, okay? <clears throat> All right, how are we doing so far? Is everyone still with me? Yeah? I'm looking to you, Misty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I, haven't, I haven't confused anyone yet, right? Okay, hi, Colleen. Okay, so wonderful. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to talk about over, I'm going to share some stories with you that are going to, that's going to help you overcome your automation hesitation. It's totally understandable that people are like, Ada, what? Like, what do you want? What do you want to talk about right now? We get it. Okay. We really do. Automation is still new, like somewhat new in this small online business space, especially things like Facebook automation. Okay. Um, but honestly, y'all, it is going to take over the scene starting this year and you're going to see more and more people using it and you're going to see more and more companies popping up who are promoting automation and there's good reason for that. Okay. So it's really, really important to learn it now and jump on board to stay ahead of your competition, to avoid burnout here in this crazy online space and to grow your business while you're at it. Okay. So I want to share some no bullshit, amazing money stories about automation. But first I would like to grab some water. <laughs> I always get like a little bit nervous with these workshops, I'm full. So nice having you here for this, wow. <laughs> okay, so back to the no bullshit stories. As I was saying earlier, I had just started using the automation tools. I think it was seven days. It might've even been sooner, but I know it was in that first week. And I got a 3K client, a high ticket client after like just within the first week and just using one of the tools. We have many tools. And by the way, if you're confused, these are our tools. These are me and Misty's tools. You don't have to go Google things and try to figure it out yourself. If you wanna know more about the tools we're gonna show you, talk to us, okay? Um, so I got a 3k client right away after using just one of the tools that doesn't happen to everyone, but it did happen to me. And it was really freaking awesome 
because I used to spend, like I was saying earlier, just hours and hours, like looking and having conversations and getting on really long sales calls that went nowhere. And then finally I implemented one of these tools and I was like, Oh my God, this is what's been missing all along. So to continue, our clients have gotten one to three clients after just a week of using our tools online. One of our clients, the lovely Deanna, she's a meditation coach who's taking care of the comments, um, celebrated four clients. This was in her, her most recent launch, celebrated four clients in less than 24 hours. And Deanna, I don't even know, like, I, there's so many more things to quote with you since then. Um, another, DePriest, she's a network marketer. DePriest, if you're here, show me some love. Celebrated four clients in a few days. And then I know quickly after she converted the fifth. And then we've also had a client more than double her rates because her confidence grew so much. She was uh, setting up systems in her business and she was able to double her rates. And she was also taking on way more clients. And so these stories are real. These, these women are probably here in the comments with us now. And it, it can be real for you too. Um, so some amazing time saving stories. I know we are so tired of being online all day, every day, like running an online business doesn't mean we have to spend five, eight, 10 hours behind the screen. Okay. It just doesn't. So we are saving our clients five to 10 hours per week. And I, I recently sent an email and did a post about this. So let's just, let's just say we're saving someone two hours a day and they're working five days a week. That's 10 hours a week. And that's 40 hours. Is my math right? That's 40 hours at the end of the month. Like what the hell could you do with 40 hours? Like that's a lot of naps. That's a lot of naps. You know, <laughs> like I love naps and uh, it's a lot of writing really good content. It's a lot of working with your clients. It's a lot of playing with your dog. So just think about that. Like these tools really do save you a lot of time. I just heard from one of my clients um, earlier today or yesterday. And she's like, seriously, this has cut my time in half. Thank you so much. And she's wedding planning right now. And she's still taking in customers, planning her wedding and still has her time cut in half. Like it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> okay. So we run our tools while sleeping and we wake up to workshop signups, to warm leads, to new conversations. It's really cool stuff. Um, and then there's just all kinds of stories that I could add to this, but I'd rather just hop through and start showing you, okay? I'm just gonna pop over to the comments really quickly and take a sip of work again. Mm. That is my key focus is working smarter, not harder. Yeah, me and Misty were literally just saying, like we're preparing for this workshop, right? And we're like, wow, we've already done everything. Like, and it's, we felt like this like all week, like we're super chill and we're in launch mode. And we know most people feel like they are losing their freaking minds in launch mode. And we're just like, hmm. yeah, just like chilling on the porch, like having a nice hangout. And it's really great. It's just really nice to, to have that confidence and to have that stress-free. Um, yes, relief. Okay. I'm so happy to see all of these comments. Very cool. Okay, so let's talk a bit about why automation is going to be massive this year. <clears throat> so we are already seeing more and more people implementing it, or at least like very, very curious about it. And more and more companies are coming um, on the scene, on the online business space scene, because this is just like Colleen just said, it's the way to work smarter, not harder. So here's why now is the time to get in on automation, okay? The first thing is consistency. How many of you can actually say that you are super consistent in your business? I am willing to bet none of you can say that. And I don't say that in a harsh way. It's just very hard to be very consistent when we're doing everything manually. We're humans and shit comes up. And sometimes we just don't feel like it or sometimes we forget. And it's just very hard to stay consistent all the time. Okay. Um, another reason is things are done on autopilot. I've talked a lot about naps. I'm about to mention naps again here. Things done on autopilot. You can take more naps. You can spend more time away from the laptop doing whatever it is that you like. Okay. Leads coming in weekly and also your leads never slipping through the cracks. You'll see what, what I'm talking about a bit later. Your confidence continues to grow every week because you know what to do. You know exactly what you're doing. 
So as a result, like you're, you're seeing the results, you're seeing things happen. You, your comp, your knowing is there. Like, I know what I'm doing. I know how to move the needle. I know how to grow my business without going freaking crazy. Obviously, another plus is booking out your workshops, your lives, your launches, getting more clients, and then mastering a very valuable skill for 2022 and beyond as things continue to get more and more competitive and fast paced online. So these are all really good reasons. Don't you agree? I'm sure that's a yes. <laughs> I'm going to assume. I'm going to assume that is a hell yes from everyone. So who is ready to talk about getting leads every week? I want to see your responses in the comments. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of yes. Heck yes, agree. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Okay, so before we hop into the leads, before we dive into all of that, how is your lead gen on a scale of one to 10? Just drop me a, just a simple number works. I am more than ready. I love it. <laughs> 10, baby. <laughs> Okay, Nicole. Oh, hi, Nicole. Okay, Nicole says zero. We got a four. We got a six. We got a four. We got a one, a three, and a five. Okay, we have numbers all over the place. I think our only 10 was my beloved Misty over here, and I know why. She's a 10. <laughs> um, okay, great. So I just want to say, if you're at a one right now, do not be discouraged. If you're not at a 10, don't be discouraged. There are ways to improve that. That's the good thing about it. Like, there's solutions. Um, and if you are at a 10 right now, then uh, is that consistent? And if not, like stick around and I can show you how to stay a 10 every single day, okay, every single week. Okay, so before we move too far, I want to talk about like what the heck is lead gen anyways. So we, we consider lead gen connecting with potential clients every single day so that you are building your pipeline consistently and always have an audience to sell your amazing, beautiful offers to, okay? Does that make sense to everyone? And are you doing that right now? Can you honestly say that you are connecting with potential clients every single day? Because many business owners that I talk to cannot say that, okay? So we are gonna take a deeper look at the who, what, when, where, why, how, of lead gen and in no particular order really. So what is it? What is lead gen? It's consistent leads. Okay. Why? So you have a pipeline of people to sell to and you aren't like scrambling for the next client for the next paycheck. And I know that sounds familiar to so many of you. Where do we generate leads? I just want to be clear here in this workshop that me and Misty are delivering to you, we are going to be focusing on Facebook. Obviously, there are other places to generate leads. We focus on Facebook. So where? Personal profile, Facebook groups, posts. When? Every damn day. Who? Targeted ideal clients. How? Friend requests, content, DMs. All right? Is any of that surprising to hear for any of you or is this all pretty clear and makes sense? Okay, let's go over why is lead gen important. I think we all know this, but let's just touch on this. If we do not have leads, we do not have people to sell to. If we do not have people to sell to, we have a very expensive hobby or maybe not very expensive, very time consuming hobby. We don't have a business because we don't have any clients. And I know that's very, very hard to hear, but it's just the honest truth, okay? It's important to have leads coming in every single day, preferably on autopilot from multiple directions, okay? So today, like I said, we're gonna be talking about lead generation on Facebook specifically and how you can automate some of that for best results. There are actually way more ways to generate leads on Facebook than people think. Okay. So lead gen goals. People always ask us like, what should I be doing? Like I want to generate leads, but like how, what does that look like even? So this is just lead a uh, general overview of lead gen goals to strive for. If you're not there right now, like I said, if your lead gen is a one, 
it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It can always be built up. So we want to have multiple sources of lead gen. We don't want to be relying on just, just my Facebook profile, just my Facebook group, just an outside group. We don't want to do that because sometimes things slow down in certain areas and we want to have things uh, filtering leads, filtering in from different areas. Okay. We want it to be consistent. Y'all, it's just like going to the gym. If you go to the gym twice this week, once the following week, and then like five times the third week, you're not going to see the same results if you would just go to the gym four times a week, every single week. Okay. We don't go to the gym three times a month and say, oh my God, but I'm not losing weight. Like we know better. We can't do that with our business either. My business isn't growing. Yeah. Well, what are you doing to make it grow every single day? It's the same thing. Okay. Um, so it has to be consistent in order for you to see the results. Your lead gen should be automated, at least automate what you can with your lead gen. Okay. Obviously there are some things that cannot be automated, but automate what you can. Why the hell not? You know, um, ideally we want to generate about 30 to 50 or more leads per week, depending on where you are in your business currently. If you're not generating leads right now, these numbers are going to look very different for you, but you can always work your way up to these numbers. So looking at these lead gen goals, how, how far off are you from these? Are you like, I'm so close, I'm right there. Or are you, is this like looking like a foreign country? Is it that far away? Let us know below. Okay, let's continue. So we get asked this all the time. So we are going to do a bit of an overview of Facebook ads versus our lead gen tools. Okay, we're going to do pros and cons. We're going to be straight up with you right here. So Facebook ads, who here is running Facebook ads, by the way, let us know below if you're running Facebook ads. I hear business owners. I know Misty can miss. I can speak for Misty too on this. We hear business owners talking about running ads all the time, but they're doing it themselves and they have no clue what they're doing. And it's very expensive and complicated. So let us know if that's your situation or let us know if you're running them at all. Maybe you hired out for it. What's your experience there? Um, so pros of Facebook ads, it gets results laser focused targeting you can get super specific with facebook ads um, it also works on autopilot you have unlimited leads now that doesn't mean you will get unlimited leads it doesn't mean that unlimited people are going to be interested in what you're pushing out um, but it does mean that there's no cap on how many people can see it okay um, the con of facebook ads is, is it can be expensive and it's definitely much more expensive than um, our automation tools complicated. It is so complicated. Oh my God. Missy's like, <laughs> she does the Facebook ads in our business relationship here because tech granny refuses to touch that shit. <laughs> but even for a pro like Misty, it can still be challenging, right? Um, the leads are not immediately in your inbox and there's no nurture follow-up system included with Facebook ads. You're just figuring out that for yourself. So our tools also gets results. We have pages upon pages upon pages of social proof to back that up. Um, also laser focused targeting, which I'll show you soon. Also works on autopilot. Extremely affordable. Extremely. It's simple as fuck. Um, there is a nurture and sale system literally built inside of your Facebook. Okay. It doesn't get much better than that. And Misty's going to dive into that with you on day two. So you definitely want to come back for that. Um, the only con with our tools is as we were saying earlier, is that if you're not generating leads right now, it's going to take you a little bit of time to build up, uh, the number of leads you are generating per week. For example, you can't run a tool and add a hundred people right away. If you're not um, generating any leads right now. And this will all make sense a bit later, but you kind of have to build up your lead gen flow, but that can happen over a few weeks, over a couple of months, and then you're, you're going to be right where you want to be. All right. So I'm curious to see if anyone is running Facebook ads. Yeah, I have, I have, I hired someone to run Facebook ads and it was terrible. I found organic to be so much better. Yeah. Um, we've had good experience with both, you know, they can both be great, but yeah, if you don't have 
like a really wonderful professional to do your Facebook ads for you, it can just be a really bad experience and leave a really bad taste in people's mouths. And I totally get why. Okay. And then another question we get asked all the time is, should I hire? It's a great question. Okay. Um, so our tools are a great first step before you outsource your lead generation, because our tools are essentially like having a VA living inside of your computer 24 seven. Like I said, we go to sleep and we run these tools. Like you guys, have, some of you are probably here right now because you received a message from me while I was sleeping. I run them to send messages to people in America and Europe while I'm sleeping. So you'll see the messages. It's pretty amazing. Um, and the, these tools can be an amazing addition to your team. If you already have a VA or other team members, as your team members can maximize their efforts in less time using the tools. So many people will, um, will tell us, oh, well, I hired a VA. I have no need for it. And we're like, why don't you have your VA use the tools to get you even better results and to make your VA's life a bit easier? Uh, so it, either way. And then, um, yeah, so we have solopreneurs using our tools and we have agencies using the tools. They just have their team of VAs or SMMs or whatever the case may be using the tools for best results. So no matter if you have a team of one or 10, it works for you. Okay, so we are going to hop into five ways to generate leads on Facebook. So who is generating leads on Facebook right now? And where are you doing that from? Is it your Facebook group? Is it outside groups? Is it a blend? Tell us below so we have an idea of what you have in place right now. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I'll have to catch up with all of these amazing comments later. Too much for now. Okay, so five ways to generate leads on Facebook. So we're just going to quickly touch on, on these five different spaces. Okay. Keep in mind, like if you want to deep dive into how we help our clients generate leads, all you need to do is drop the word leads into the comment threads and we will reach out to you. Okay. We're going to, we're going to touch the surface of these, these, uh, five, five places to generate leads, but there's a lot, lot more that we do with our clients. Okay. So the first place, Oh, I could talk for days about this place is your friends list and your personal profile. Okay. This is massive. A lot of people think leads means new people that I've never met. Okay. And that's not always the case. It is that like, we do want to generate um, new leads and like new blood as people call it into our pipeline, but like we want to nurture and follow up with the people already in our pipeline too. Many of us have been doing business on Facebook for months, years, and we have thousands of people that have been in our space for a while. So we want to tap back into that huge network of people. Okay. Misty and I see so many business owners leaving shit loads of money on the table because they are not tapping into what's already there. All right, so let's talk about five reasons your Facebook profile might be costing you money right now. And I cannot tell you how important these are. Okay, I'm gonna hop over to my uh, personal profile just to kind of like demo a bit. So the first thing that, the first mistake I see people make is their profile picture. It's like blurry or it's them like 15 years ago or it's of like a tree leaf. It has nothing to do with them. It's not warm. It's not engaging. We definitely want to make sure we have a, a nice, clear, it doesn't have to be like super professional and buttoned up, but like something, I mean, look at our banner, for example, <laughs> you know, it's super silly, but just something that shows your personality and something that's inviting. Okay. I always tell people your Facebook profile, if you're doing business on Facebook, your Facebook profile is like inviting your leads into your home. You don't want your home to be messy and look like shit so that people never want to come back. Okay. They don't want to feel super sketched out when they like reach your home. So treat your Facebook profile like it's your home and clean it up. So the first thing is you know, the profile picture. Get on your profile picture if you're, if it's not where it needs to be. Uh, the, the cover photo, banner photo, whatever the hell you want to call it. This space up here is free advertising. Okay, I know that we, I know from my profile alone, I'm not sure how many I'll miss these. I got workshop signups because we 
advertise our workshop right here. Y'all, it is so easy to go into Canva and make a template for free and pop it on your Facebook cover, like free advertising, okay? So take advantage of this space. If you don't have a workshop going on, promote your group here. If you don't have a Facebook group, talk a bit about what you do or put a lead magnet up there, okay? Um, the third thing I see all the time is there's no business info. Like, who are you? I have people reach out to me and they say they're like, you know, let's just say lead gen expert, for example, but I see nothing on their profile about this. It is completely confusing and it's, I just won't trust it. Um, the other thing I see is really, really bad content or no content at all. Um, it's just like tags from their grandma over and over and over again, like nothing related to business or what they're telling me they're an expert in. So again, I'm not going to believe them. Um, and the fifth thing is they th like, this is another huge reason why you're leaving a lot of money on the table with your Facebook profile is because you have no strategy to nurture and follow up with your friends list because you're just not taking advantage of this space here. All right. And we're going to dive more into this, but I just want to hear from everyone. Like, how do you feel about your personal profile? Is it set up for success right now? Or does it look confusing and a little shitty. Um, how does your how does your business home look right there on your personal profile? When we are connecting with people in outside groups or in the DMs, we're not connecting from our business page or Facebook group. We're connecting from our personal profile. So guess what? People are going to go like creep on you. They're going to go see what you're all about. So you want to make sure you make a good first impression. Hmm. Okay, I'm seeing that some people fix theirs. Hi, Dupree's. Not my personal page. Okay, um, I'll let you handle, the, handle those comments, Misty. Okay, so generating leads using your personal profile slash your friends list the fun way. Use your stories. Oh my gosh, I have so much fun with stories, and I know um, I know Misty does too. Use your stories. How many of you watch stories at least a few times a day? People click on this stuff and you can get creative. It lasts 24 hours. It's super simple to set up and do. So take advantage of your stories. I can't even tell you like whenever we're in launch mode and I'm like sharing social proof or I'm talking about this or that, people are like, please tell me more. I wanna come. Like people are watching. So I recommend posting on your story three times a day. You can post more than that. A lot of people post a lot more than that, but three times a day probably minimum. Like you could do a flow of like business, business, personal, business, business, personal, personal, whatever. But keep in mind this last 24 hours. So especially when you're in launch mode or you're offering a lead magnet or whatever the case may be, talk about it on your stories. Talk about it every day. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to talk about generating leads, the fun and automated way. And I know you're seeing the screen going, why am I seeing Disco Cats and Will Ferrell? Um, and I'll explain, and it's pretty amazing. So <clears throat> now we're gonna take a look at, we're gonna talk about automation, our first automation tools for this workshop. Um, the two tools I'm about to show you, they, they sync directly with your personal profile, so your friends list, or people trying to get on your friends list. And I'll explain in a moment. So the first one you see here, this silly, silly page, this is called Genius Birthday Posts. And this, what you're looking at is actual cards I send out to people on their birthdays to their timelines and in the DMs, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop over and, um, and actually show you a couple because I just had mine run. So, Here's a couple that went out today. So this is one from Misty. <laughs> Wishing you a happy freaking birthday, all the best wishes. A little birthday toast to you. And it even has her name. Okay, and here's a couple of mine that went out just today as well. Here's my dancing cat. Today is your special day. I'm wishing you some serious birthday magic. Y'all, this happens whenever I am not doing anything. Okay, it just pops up there on the person's timeline. And how special is this? Like if I get this on my timeline, I'm immediately like, can I be that person's best friend? You know, like it just, it's a, it's such a non-spammy way to connect with people.
here's another one that went out just two hours ago. Okay. Like how cool is this? It has her name on it. This is really, really fun. And then additionally, it'll also send this person a DM, right? So you can, you have the option and I'll show you a bit here. So here's the genius birthday post tool. And just so everyone's clear, all of our tools act as Chrome extensions. All right. So we have genius birthday posts right here. And all you do is make sure mine is turned off because it's already run, but all you do is click this to enable it. And then you set up all of your cards and your DMS and you get as creative as you want. You set it, you set what time you want it to go out every single day. And then it just does it for you. All you have to do is create the messages and the personalized cards one time, which we show our clients exactly how to do this. And you just make sure this little toggle is on. And then it just runs every single day, giving people this beautiful birthday magic and lighting up their day. Like that is the best way to take advantage of the leads on your friends list at this moment. So what do y'all think about this tool? How amazing is this tool? What do you, okay. Are you, you're answering the polls, right? Okay. Um, okay, great. So we are going to move on to our second tool. Okay. This one is genius connector. All right. So I'm just going to show you part one of genius connector right now. Okay. Again, it is a Chrome extension and this is genius connector here. And what I want to show you now is how we take advantage of our friends list. Okay. So with genius connector, you have three options send a message. This is an automated message that goes out to people. When you receive a new friend request from someone, send a message when you accept a friend request from someone or send a message when you decline a friend request from someone. So it's, this is really amazing because you get to qualify people as they're trying to get on your friends list, which is absolutely awesome. So here's an example of what I send out to people. Hey, X, Thanks for connecting with me. Appreciate your request. Were you interested in talking about automation, powerful content, or just wanted to make a connection today? So this is being sent out on autopilot to people who request me as a friend. So I'm able to qualify them and their intentions from the get go, right? So really, really amazing way to take advantage of the leads on your friends list. And while we are on the topic of these amazing automation tools, I think it is time to give one away. So the last comment, just one birthday wisher. And who is it, Misty? Kathy. Kathy? Okay. Okay, ready? One, two. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And Nicole? Okay, Kathy and Nicole, Kathy and Nicole. Okay, I'm gonna try to get these to work. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Okay, let me remove the confetti from my keyboard. All right, fantastic. Ladies, you just both want a birthday wisher and we will we will get you set up um, after the workshop, okay? So the next place to generate leads is obviously on your business page or your Facebook group. Better yet, your Facebook group because business pages just don't do as well as Facebook groups anymore. Um, if your business page is doing great, fantastic, keep on going. So these spaces, I'm going to focus on Facebook groups, right? These spaces are filled with your ideal clients. So you need to take advantage. Okay. How much are you reaching out to people there? Are you growing these spaces consistently? And just make sure your group, like, you know, what kind of content you're putting out for your ideal client. Okay. Your Facebook group, you can have as many people as you want in there. And it's also, again, a free place to advertise, to promote, to serve, to give value to your ideal clients. So it's such an important place to really nurture and take care of. Okay. All right. And then the third place is the magic of other Facebook groups. And a lot of people know this. They know we're generating leads in other Facebook groups, but they just don't really understand how to do it. And this is something that we definitely help our clients with to get very clear on. But there are multiple, I'll touch a bit on this now. There are multiple ways to leverage other people's groups. 
The first one is posting for your audience. Of course, we all know this, but not just sales posts, all kinds of different posts, engagement posts, value posts, et cetera, et cetera. Another way to find leads in groups is to go into the group and use the top, this top uh, search bar and just search for keywords. So if you're a weight loss coach, search for search weight loss or um, uh, weight struggles, any any keywords that might help you identify people who are already looking for you. OK, still to this day, I always tell this story. I got my biggest client ever from using that search bar function in an outside group. And I think I was I was searching for Facebook group growth and there was a woman who needed Facebook group growth. And that is how it happened. So using that search bar is so key, okay? And then of course, connecting with people in outside groups. This is so massive. And this is the part of Genius Connector, our, our definitely our most popular um, automation tool that we really are so excited about showing you today, okay? So I just showed you the automated DMs with Genius Connector, but now I wanna show you how to add your ideal clients on autopilot, okay? And this is what it looks like. So as you can see here, I am inside of our, it can be any Facebook group that you're a member of, the members list. So Genius Connector runs from a list. It can be a group list, can be suggested friends list from Facebook, but groups are best because that's where your ideal clients are hanging out. So whatever groups you're generating leads from, you wanna navigate to those groups and start adding people, okay? So how it works is you set up a time interval. So you can choose anywhere from 30 seconds up to 15 minutes, which is crazy cool, y'all, because this keeps you out of Facebook jail. We cannot just go add, 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 right? You're gonna get blocked. So this is really amazing because you get to set your time interval. You get to set the number of requests. So it's not just going to add 400 people and, de and deactivate your Facebook account. Okay. Then the really cool part is you can use keywords. So look how specific I'm getting here. How amazing is this? I can say, I want to, I want to find a course creator, but I don't want to talk to anyone who's in software or automation. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into each one of these keywords, but you can set this up however you want, and you can also choose mess choose an automated DM to go out if you like. And all you do is press run, and then it runs for you. And I can go do whatever I want, and any other tab I can walk away from the computer, and all of my ideal clients will be connected with on autopilot, saving me a ton of time. So how does that look to all of you? Are you doing anything like this right now for your lead generation? Or is this just like, wow, this is completely new. I need this in my life right now. So the purpose of Genius Connector is to connect with these people, obviously, duh. And then we want to get them into the DMs and we want to build a relationship and we want to nurture them and give them value. And then we want to convert them into long term clients. OK, so seeing that in action, you can see how it saves you a ton of time. Uh, so if you do nothing else today, please go find three groups that you can really engage, build connections and find leads in today, because this is so important generating leads. There's so many Facebook groups out there that cater to all different types of industries and people and get out there and find your spaces. Okay. <clears throat> all right. And something I want to say about Facebook groups is that size doesn't matter. And I always laugh at this slide. A healthy mix of all size groups are encouraged here. So many people think I have to only go and generate leads in groups of 50,000 people. And honestly, that's not the best idea. Find small intimate groups as well, where you can get name recognition more easily and uh, people will and show up as the authority more easily and you're not competing with just thousands and thousands of people. So a couple of small groups, a couple of medium groups and a couple of big groups is always really, really great, okay? So the fourth way to generate leads on Facebook is premium memberships. So some of you might be a part of these groups. You pay a small fee and then you're able to post whenever you want and basically whatever you want. So unlimited sales posts, unlimited lead magnets, whatever it is that you have. 
there's pros and cons to this. Okay. Um, we've done it. We still do it sometimes. Um, the pros are that there's no post approval. You have access to a larger audience. It's great when it works and it's low cost, but the cons are that it's heavily saturated and the engagement is usually low because so many other people are doing it. Um, and it's just getting harder and harder to find success doing that um, because more and more people are doing it. And so, yeah, I would, my recommendation is to test it out for yourself. Find a group that you could be a premium member in and just see how it goes. You're not really risking a lot. It's usually just around 20 or $30 a month. So easy to test. Okay, and then the fifth way to generate leads is through events and collaborations. Y'all, so many people have podcasts now. So many people have groups now. Okay, get out there and share your audience with someone. Do a special talk in their group. Show up on their podcast. Um, ask them for some sort of collab opportunity. Deanna, you are in the comments right now, and you do collabs all the time. So share with some of our audience members how this has been so so um, effective for you. It's also something that Misty and I are really diving into for 2022 as well. And people are open to collabs right now. So just get on the collab train because it works. Okay. Okay. So how are we feeling right now? <laughs> I'm really... Oh my God, 300 groups I'm a part of. Okay, that is way too much. Okay, cool. All right, so we need to talk about workflow because you can have all the amazing automation tools, you can have the most amazing strategy, but if you don't have a workflow that you're sticking to every day, you are screwed, okay? So this is the number one reason business owners fail, okay? They have absolutely no strategy in place or they do have one in place, but they cannot follow it. They just like don't really know what the hell is going on. So I'm curious, how are you showing up in your business daily? Are you following something consistently? Do you have a workflow or a strategy in place? Just tell us yes or no, yes or no. Because everyone these days, are over if they were ever in so if i throw this on the wall you guarantee my business will grow no okay this is not how it works we really it's so important now more than ever to be super consistent about what we're doing and have something to follow it is so crazy here online and we need to simplify so this is how we use automation every single day and you can too okay this is something we help our clients nail down so they are being consistent daily and this is 100 percent what makes or breaks a business okay what helps you grow or keeps you behind where you don't want to be okay and i'm going to show you our workflow what we follow okay so it is this simple it's literally a google sheet and if you're my client please please tell us in the comments how this has like changed everything for you but as you can see we just have our entire day filled out here so it starts with personal work and then it goes straight into business right and then client work but you can see here i have our tool here genius uh genius connector genius birthday post and then I have our CRM here, which we'll dive into later, but we fit the automation tools into our workflow and we make sure that all of this is being done, but we all should have a workflow and why not automate some of that if we can? Why not automate this column so we can have more time to do client work or to do content work, okay? Why not automate some of the things that are taking up the majority of our time and brain space? Why not? You know, why not if the option is there and it's just going to help so much with consistency and moving the needle. OK. OK, so we talked a lot about where to generate leads and how to generate leads and how many leads per week that we want. And I'm sure you're thinking, but how do you keep track of all the leads? Like, let's just say I am getting 30, 50 new leads a week. How the hell am I going to keep track of them? Because my Facebook Messenger is already 
a jungle. So I'm not going to dive into this tool too much today, but I am just going to quickly give you a preview. Misty is going to dive into this all tomorrow. So this is the inside of my Facebook Messenger, and you can see I have all of my people labeled. And I can also give people a tag, all right? This is all I'm going to show you today because I want you to come back tomorrow that this is beautiful and it probably looks so much different than your Facebook Messenger inbox. And that is because I'm using our Genius Messenger CRM tool, which allows me to set up as many labels and as many tags as I want. So no lead is slipping through the cracks anymore, okay? So if you wanna see more of that, you have to come back tomorrow. All right, um, and I just want to, want to really, people always ask like, why do I need this? Why do I need automation? Like things are going okay right now. This is why we use it. Consistency, lead gen is done daily. I know many of us cannot say the same thing. Spend less time online. That in itself is enough, right? Spend less time on things we don't enjoy and save brain power for the things we do enjoy. And we also use uh, automation to stay out of Facebook gel. And on that note, who has heard these six dreaded words? Your Facebook profile has been disabled. Oh my God, giving that email, holy shit. It is so rough. I know that some of you have read this before or received this message. And how did it feel? Like that feeling in your stomach, like, oh my God, it's all over. The world has ended. Um, so our tools help you stay out of Facebook gel. This is a Facebook gel free lead gen strategy. And as I showed you, there's those time intervals. So you don't have to sit and just click, 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 add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend. Um, our tools send a variety of messages and we'll show you this tomorrow, but time intervals mixed with variety and DMs, that, that means you're not repeating the same actions on Facebook, which is what gets you blocked on Facebook. Okay. So you're way less likely to reach Facebook gel, but still grow your business and still hit the amount of leads that you need to hit every week by using the tools. So I just want to quickly remind you of the three tools we talked about today. The first one was Genius Birthday Post, right? The non-spammy way to reconnect with, your, with the people in your pipeline on your friends list. We talked about Genius Connector, the one that sends automated DMs to people trying to get on your friends list and also adds people on autopilot and other groups or from suggested friends lists. And we quickly talked about Genius Messenger CRM and we will talk all about that tomorrow, okay? Um, but I think before we wind things down, I think that we should give away another birthday wisher. So Misty, Deanna, who do we got? Who is? Our winner, winners, Brian. Brian, okay. And we have two. Oh, we got to have to check with Deanna, I think. Deanna? Running a little bit slow, a little bit behind. Mine is very behind. Deanna, who is our but Brian, okay, Brian, we're going to celebrate you right now. And whoever the mystery winner is, oh, Nicole again. So Nicole, in, in, in lieu of, since I'm not going to give you two birthday wishers, I will give you a call with me. I promise it will be fun. I promise there might be confetti. And we will talk about your lead gen strategy, okay? So our final confetti for day one. Oh, my God. This <laughs> is broken. I think this one's broken. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. Oh, yay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, awesome. Everyone, we are almost, almost done. So just some final questions for you all. 
How is your daily workflow? Do you have a strategy to follow? I asked you this earlier, but let's just make it super clear. Drop workflow if you need a workflow. This is so important. If you're not following a workflow, this is a big problem, okay? And then secondly, how is your lead gen? Are you getting leads every week? Drop us leads if you need leads now, okay? Leads, drop us leads. All right, and then tomorrow, I've been hinting at this all along, but tomorrow builds on everything we, we learned today, okay? So this is a sneak peek at what is going down tomorrow with this handsome fella here. Misty is going to show you how to build a full-blown sales system right inside your Facebook Messenger. So you are making more money and making a greater impact, okay? That is so important. Our genius messenger CRM, you saw it for five seconds earlier, but this is what it does. It turns your jungle messenger inbox into a beautiful color coded CRM. You stay on top of all of your leads. You use your inbox to follow up and triple your sales. Okay, we're building follow up systems and sales systems right inside our Facebook messenger. You cannot do this any other way. This is massive. Okay, and she's gonna dive into all of the different features of this amazing tool, my personal favorite, tomorrow. I can't imagine doing business without this tool, any of the tools really, but especially this one. So come back, okay? Um, so for those of you who are like, hell yes to everything I just saw, this is how we can support you, okay? I want everyone to know we have multiple options. We have monthly software packages and a Facebook support community that's only for our clients. It's only reserved for our clients. We have two support calls there per month, okay? The second way is six-week group coaching program with Misty and myself. This is an intensive on how to implement these automation tools into your business and use them forever and ever and ever. We have a crazy early bird special. More on that later. And this will only last until Friday, okay? This is the last time we will do this group coaching intensive live with access to Misty and myself, direct access to us. So this is a really freaking big deal. Okay, so everyone, again, if you need more information on this stuff, drop us leads below and we will reach out to you. And be here for day two because it is going to legit blow your mind and holy shit i just ended this exactly one hour i will go ahead and take a bow if you have questions dm me or misty we are so happy to see you all here and so engaged and we are really even more excited about helping you with your business all right so see you for day two tomorrow oh wait are we <laughs> see you tomorrow